Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the UV mapping toolbox. This script is already a huge time saver, and now it's even better, so let's check it out. Okay, so let's launch the script by clicking on the UV map button to load the tool. If you're not familiar with the tool, I have uh, an entire video um, dedicated to uh, showing what all the buttons do, but basically um, just a quick overview of the tool. It's an optimized way to create UV mapping for your model. It gives you um, one-click button access to uh, everything that you're going to want to use to quickly UV map your model. Uh, it also allows you to input the texel density that you want the UV maps to be created in. And uh, it also has the Gridify UV script uh, built directly into the tool. Um, I'll post the link in the description uh, so you can check out the other video if, if uh, you come across this video and, uh, and you've never heard of this thing before. OK, so let's check out the new features. Um, so basically what I've added is uh, I've added the um, UV checker map button here, and I've added the stack shells button down here. So let's start with the checker map stuff. So this is actually super powerful. This is probably like actually one of my favorite things in the whole tool now that I've added it in and I've started working with it. So basically what you do is when you have your model selected, you just click this button and boom, you get the checker map applied. You get uh, the set, these settings set here, use the image, turn on the map, also darken the image down, dim it down, and then like uh, tint all the shells blue. So basically, this is a toggle button. You just click it on and off, and you can quickly jump in and out of the easiest kind of way to see your UV shells. Because I found with the Maya default one, you'll, you'll turn this on, and then you'll have to go over here, and then you will do this, and then you'll set a setting here, and blah, 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 blah. And I just wanted a really easy way to just be like, bam, okay, bam bam, 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 and just like click between it. But what's super powerful for me anyways, is I was able to figure out how to get the plus and minus of the checker size to be right in the tool. So often when I'm UV mapping something, I'll come in here and I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, I can't actually see the checkers. Like they're too big. And I don't like really know um, if the thing's mapped correctly. So what's really cool about this is you can just press the plus and you can increase the checker size in real time so you can see if the checkers are square. So for example, like you might do a UV map and you might get something like this or even worse like this. Like you can't even see a single checker across the thing that you're trying to work on, right? So what's really cool is as you're mapping your model and you're like, oh, I need to whatever, I need to work on this, this part of the model here. Uh, all you have to do is come in here and just go plus, 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 plus uh, until it's dense enough or uh, vice versa. You're here and you're like, oh, man, I can't even see anything. The checkers are way too small. So you can just go minus, 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 minus until you can kind of line that stuff up. So I just find that really handy. I think once you try this workflow, it'll be impossible for you to go back to the Maya default one. You'll become so reliant on just having this convenience of being able to just toggle this thing on in one click, map a couple faces grab some faces, map them along Y, and then be like, oh, OK, I need to get in closer, and then just go plus plus to see what's actually happening there. Because you're going to scale this thing down, let's say, and the checkers are going to get bigger as you scale it down to fit in your UV shell. And then you might want to click that to be able to actually see what you're doing. So super powerful. And then the next thing that I added was actually a request from my wife. She was getting super annoyed by the fact that when you have to stack UV shells, which she does a lot, you have to go into shell mode for one, which is awkward because I never even use the UV shell selection. And then you have to select the shells and then you hold shift and right click. And then I think it's in some really weird place. Like it's it's like kind of painful to get to. It's like way down here. It's like a really kind of an awkward thing. And then what's also really annoying is like I'm usually in UV mode and like maybe I have a UV shell selected. And if you hold shift and right click, uh, it's not there because it's a context sensitive menu. So you actually have to waste your time and like go over here, go into shell mode and then like go through that workflow, which can just be kind of um, annoying. So when I created this tool, I wasn't trying to add every single button in the entire thing, because then that would just uh, basically recreate, uh, where is this thing, this um, hideous menu here again. I didn't want to recreate this thing because it's got too much crap in it. And when you open it all up, you can't tell what you're doing. And then I don't even use like more than half of this, right? Like this stuff's like all so useless. So I wanted to make the tool just have the stuff that's actually useful. But then I wanted to use the tool in conjunction with holding shift and right mouse button and bringing up this menu because I use this menu all the time. So the kind of the rule set that I found was like, 
if I can hold shift right click and then go to un like unfold, for example, and then go U or V or whatever, that's too many deep. So I wanted it to be if I hold shift and right click and there's a single click to run the tool, then I wouldn't put it in the menu. But if it was like too deep, for example, the unfold stuff where you're like, oh, that's kind of annoying. You have to go unfold and then you have to say unfold again. That's why I put it in the menu. So for UV shells, it was like three clicks deep in the menu. So that was really annoying. Um, so what's really cool about the stack shells is it will work on any component type, but it will also work even if you don't have uh, the entire shell selected. So like in the default one, you have to go to shell, select the thing, and then go down here and uh, do the stack shells to get the shells to stack. But what's cool in the tool here is, watch this, I just have to have at least one vertice, or sorry, one UV selected uh, on either of the shells that I want, and then I just click the magic button and boom, it stacks them. So I don't even need to like do that. I can literally just grab one UV, one UV, and click it so it's way faster. The other cool thing is it actually works in any component mode. So you could grab one face, one face, and stack it. You could go UV, you could do UV shell, it doesn't actually matter, you could do verts. Um, so it's super fast and super powerful because here, watch this. I'm not even going to bother like making a good selection and boom, I can stack it all. Oh, I miss these guys. No problem. Just kind of lazily drag over everything. You don't even have to have them all selected. You just need to grab a little bit of everything to, to get it to stack, uh, on top of each other. If you've already purchased the full script pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download it again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script pack yet, you can grab the script by itself, which also includes the Gridify UV script, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a splendid day.